Hey guys, and welcome to this video of Warframe PvP, in which I'm going to be using the Ogris. Now, some context for this video. The Ogris was my favourite weapon before the game got released, and as soon as I saw it was enabled for PvP, I was fucking over the moon. But, I'm afraid that didn't last long. I tried my first game with it, and... Okay, it does do a lot of damage, but, 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 it's not good enough. Like, it really isn't good enough. The explosion range is pretty small because you can't add Firestorm. It takes a long time to charge. Obviously, you get a ridiculously low amount of ammo. It starts with seven shots. And what should be a fun weapon is now just too difficult to use. Honestly, if you want that kind of high damage one-shot kill potential, then you should be using the... Um, the DiQ or the OptiCore, the Ogris just unfortunately isn't there, and honestly, I'm happy about that, because if the Ogris was powerful, it would be terrible. PvP would be in such a horrible state, and everyone would be using the Ogris. It is a very low skill weapon, um, because I mean, it, it's a rocket launcher for God's sake. You charge it, but that's that's the hardest thing you need to do with it. But otherwise, you just fire a shot, a rocket travels, it explodes, it kills everything. If it was like that, PvP would not be fun, it would not be a skilled experience, and generally, it well, yeah, the community would be so angry. So, I'm, I'm glad it shits, personally, and I know that sounds funny, but it's just, it does, like, it does a fair amount of damage, it does up to 150 I've seen on close hits, I'm not sure how much damage a direct hit would do, but it, I think you need to combine it with something else, you need to try and find... I guess find a finisher. So like, say if I- oh no, I, I released too early. He's gonna come for me- oh no, he switched to his crack, never mind. I think it's a sort of weapon where you need to- you need to fire it. You'll damage- you'll do like 150 damage if you're lucky. And then you go in and finish with a skill or a, um, or a melee weapon or something like that. But even if you get a very close hit, it's just- I haven't actually- yeah, the entire time I've tried using the Ogris, I haven't ever- gotten a direct kill with the Ogris. It's always been in combination with something else. And I'm glad, because in a way that does make it a... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, it's a bait. It's a bait. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was trying to trick him into thinking I was committing suicide. Like, here. I, I would have loved it if that got me two kills. And how I would rather if this weapon was... Like, it took... I would prefer if it took 30 seconds to charge, and then it fires a one-shot, powerful, huge radius rocket. I think that would be more fun. And how what makes it fun in PvE for me, or what did make it fun, is that it does like it does such an incredibly huge amount of damage when you have it modded correctly. And it did one shot a lot of things, especially like if you're playing early game infested missions and stuff like that. And it, it just felt powerful. And you could get a ridiculously large explosion radius and it was that doesn't translate to PvP, and there's no way it could translate to PvP without it being incredibly overpowered. So, I've got bad news if you watch this, thinking, oh, the Ogris is out for PvP, I wonder how good it is. Because it's just not. And I'm not being overly critical, like, I, I, I'm the sort of person who says, oh no, it is good if you use it correctly, but I have i can't imagine this being used correctly. Like, it's, it's, it's in that state. But either way, I, I, I think I've made my opinion clear now, and I won't go into it too much. I try to kind of do a fun explosive build. Obviously, I picked Zephyr because you can. I'm gonna have to use Voltor to deflect his projectiles, otherwise he will just straight up kill me. I am in a horrible position right now. I tried to tailwind out of there, but unfortunately, I didn't have the energy. That was a waste of turbulence and a potential tailwind. Was he looking for me? Did he think I was still alive somehow? I guess I am Zephyr. But it, it's just uh, like I was thinking. It's fun. I could rain fire down on above. Like if I use the Angstrom, I could just fire down explosives whilst floating in the air. And obviously the Ogris is capable of self-harm, that's one of the ways it was kind of balanced in PvE. So you you don't want to be either at her high point or you want to be bullet gliding. When I was a big fan of the Ogris, like back in the day before it even got redesigned, it had the ammo capacity of an assault rifle just to, just to see how long ago that was. But bullet jumping wasn't a thing. Obviously we were in the state of parkour 1.0 and Zoran coptering was the preferred method of movement. So self-harm when using the Ogris was a huge risk. Like if one enemy, how if an ally ran up in your face as you're about to fire a shot, then you were dead. Because it does so much damage, it would just go through all your shields 
all your health, it would just kill you straight up. Remember Tonk? In fact, I think that's why I never use Viagras anymore, because the Tonkor came out. Oh well, obviously the comb came out, which became my favourite weapon, but as far as explosive alternatives go, the Tonkor was a thing, and the Tonkor is incredibly powerful. Even if it does, does even if it doesn't travel in a straight path. But you can see, like, I've I've gotten a lot of hits. How I'll, I'll be curious to see my damage when um when this match is over. Am I out of ammo? I am. But this guy is coming after me, and I got an angstrom hit on him, so I managed to get the kill there. I forgot the angstrom can't be released when you want. Thankfully, the Ogris you can hold charges, but with the angstrom you have to fire when it's ready, as opposed to the alternative. So I would like to hear thoughts on like what you would have done, like the people watching this video, what, how could you make the Ogress better? I, I don't know what happened there, I thought I had energy, so I was trying to tailwind and then dive bomb, but I don't think I had any energy, that would have been really good if I could pull it off, because then I could have, um, finished him with an angstrom shot and it would have been really powerful, but fortunately this is not the case. This is probably one of, one of the best maps to showcase the Ogress too, because I can get that aerial advantage very easily, and it's easy for me to kind of find my enemy, there's not loads of corners for them to go around. But in this kind of sh fight, I'm being the kind of player I hate, I need to be agile, otherwise they will kill me. And I I nearly went into the emote menu, that's not what I want to do. I really, I'm being chased very, yeah, credit to that guy for chasing me down. I was being a agile bugger there, and it must have been a pain in the ass for him to kill me. But you really are gonna have to change your playstyle if you want to use the Ogress effectively. Hell, maybe I'm being a bit too agile, maybe I should be sitting from a distance doing this kind of thing, but even then, yeah, he realised what I was doing and he came for me, so can I attempt to use combo there? No, some third guy rained on our parade and um, didn't get to pull it off. There might be like a, there might be a synergy with another Warframe or another weapon that I'm missing. And hell, maybe on Cephalon Capture, that's the best place to do it. I'm not going to be able to get him. I'm going to quickly do a flick and see if I can... Oh, here we go. This is this is the time. That's the kind of combo I wanted, but even then... Even then it didn't work. Can I try it again? Oh, no. I, I didn't have enough health to take that guy down. He's using the Furious, so I think he... Can you get the Lifesteal Furious mod in PvP? I don't think he can. That would be very powerful if you could. <laughs> if you can, then. Hell, I'm doing a video on that soon. I... I, I don't know if I finished what I was saying, but yeah, I'd like to see what you guys would have done to make the Ogress a good PvP weapon, or uh, rather a balanced PvP weapon, because there's just, there's a very fine line between good and balanced, and it's very hard to meet. Oh, that could have been such a cool triple kill, but even if, even if the stars aligned and I got that shot there, I don't think I would have killed them. That's the sad reality. Also, um, I think this is another reason the Ogress is weak with the current state of PvP. As I've said many times before, everyone is just flying around in the air, and you're very going to, you're very rarely going to get a player who's on the ground. And the Ogress, unfortunately, is kind of dependent on people being on the ground. You need to hit the people, or rather, you need to hit the ground around the people. You're very rarely going to get a direct hit. And oh no, I missed him, unfortunately. I am out of ammo. This is the perfect situation to, to. Oh no, I just. I tailwinded into a goddamn thing. That would have been the perfect situation, but unfortunately not. And as I was saying, you you kind of need to hit the ground near them if you want to damage them. You're very rarely going to get a direct hit. And with how everyone is in PvP now, you, you're not going to be able to do that at all. Not to mention the travel time. Like, I've got the plus 40% travel or flight speed mod uh, at the cost of accuracy, because that isn't really a problem. But even with that, it's still got a lot of travel time, and... Oh my god, I finally got a direct hit! That is the first kill I've gotten with Yogris, and it actually felt satisfying, but, but it sh I, I shouldn't be saying that. I Obviously, I'm, I'm not claiming I'm the best Warframe player. I claim that in my other videos. No, I, um, I know I'm not the best Warframe player, but I think even if you gave this weapon to the best Warframe player, even if they were against noobs, they would be dying a lot. And hopefully I'm not saying that naively. Like, if in a week's time Yogris is the only thing used in PvP, then I'm going to eat my words. This is me, Evans, with Z11, please rating if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more Warframe PvP videos, then hit that subscribe button. I'm a YouTuber, <laughs> Oh wait, how much damage did I do? Uh, okay, I only did 12% of damage, so I'm not even as good as I thought. But yeah.